In this video, we will create a simple detection script. Let's start off by creating a new folder in our cheese folder. Name it scripts. Here, we will have all our Python scripts. I'm gonna drag my video to frames, script. And now I'm gonna make a new Python file, naming it detections.py. You can name anything you want. So to do our initial detections, we only need four imports. First one is MSS. Next is PyTorch. Next is OpenCV. And we're importing NumPy. Okay. To calculate the monitor region of which we're screenshotting, it's gonna be the same formula as this, which is you take the monitor width, the monitor height, the monitor scale, and the monitor region. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste it here. So this is just a formula to do the monitor scale. I recommend keeping your monitor scale in a range of one between where you trained it. For example, if you trained at a monitor scale of four, but you wanted to use it at a monitor scale of one, uh, the results won't be as great as the detections aren't as attuned to a larger image size because the image gets scaled down when the detections are being ran. Okay, after the region is calculated, let's get our model loaded in. So model equals torch.hub.load. So this is going to be a raw string, and it's going to be the path to the YOLO v5 directory. Copy path. This is going to be a custom model. Put custom there. Next, put path e equals. Now this is going to be the path to our model. So copy the path. There you go. And we are using a local source. Local. Now there are a couple settings I like to change when I load my model. I like to put the confidence rating. Conf. I like to put the confidence at around 40%. Because usually if you put the confidence, which, at, which is at default 25%, there's a lot of false positives. So I recommend putting it or like finding a sweet spot for you. For me, it's usually 0 0.4. Put max detections as you won't be detecting any more than 10 objects. If all five enemies are on your screen, which is their body, head, times five. And amp equals true. This amps the model, making it faster. To write the detection script with MSS function as STC. All true. This is to get the screenshot. Oh, I forgot to import NumPy as MP. PLRA. Do STC dot grab. And then we put our region. The screenshot it grabs is going to be the monitor scale, which is scaled down by five. It's going to be one fifth of the monitor, a box like this. Then we're going to run the detections over the screenshot. Or well, df equals the screenshot will be our input. Now we have to do the size I trained with. I trained with size of 736, I believe. 
So this is the size you trained your model with. Put dot pandas dot x y x y zero. So this outputs the model into a or how puts the output into df, which we can then uh, navigate and get the results. So. Three zero dot ten. Try to. So there's no easy way to know how many detections you get since the max detections are ten. I'm just gonna loop over this ten times, and I'm gonna have a try function. If there's nothing there, function will go to the accept, and then the accept will do nothing. Initially, let's do x min, y min, x max, and y max. min equals int. And we're going to navigate the output. I'm just going to copy this. Okay, one, two, and three. Let me just put the accept statement. And equals nothing. So it prints. Uh, so usually if you just print print basically, it would print with a slash n, which would print, print a line down. But we're putting it so there's no ending. So it just prints nothing. And now with these coordinates that we get, so this is the x min coordinate, the y min coordinate, x max coordinate, and y max coordinate, we're going to draw a rectangle. We're going to draw this on a screenshot. Initial coordinates will be x min and y min. Then we have x max and y max. Now you can now you can make it any color you want. I'm just going to go with blue. And a thickness of one. I'm sure, actually I'm gonna make it three, so it's easier to see. I'm just gonna name the frame, the window. This is the window name, and I'm gonna display screenshot. One equals equals ord q. Now this is just to close the window and end the program. Once I press q, well you can make this any key you want, but I'll put it. I'll leave it as uh, actually I'll put it as l for now. Cv two dot destroy all windows and work so it ends the while true loop okay and that should be everything so i'm gonna save it and when i run it it should run in my virtual python virtual environment yellow v5 will do some additional pip installations for you automatically which is nice okay once that's done this is going to start up, and here you go. Here's the frame. Now, this is a small portion of my screen. But as you can see, it's uh, screenshotting about one fifth of my screen, and it's running the detections on it. So it's not um, finding anything at the moment. So I will demonstrate this in game. Give me a second. So here I am in the practice range. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, I have my frame being displayed for you and the detections are looking pretty fine well it's unable to draw too many boxes because it put max detection detections at 10 but it seems to be t detecting the enemy pretty well i'm going to try and move further away and it seems to be good so as you can see the model is working fine can see them from far away and the detection seems steady so your model testing and training portion of this should be done 
And in the next video, I will show you how to make some basic trigger bot, which doesn't even require the Arduino using this very basic bypass, which will probably be patched out soon. But since it's working, I'll show it to you guys.